I have such a precious gift to you. Her name is Elizabeth Cunningham, and she wrote my favorite novels of all time about Mary Magdalene, starting with the passion of Mary Magdalene and ending at the beginning. This is the pre prequel, Magdalene yeah. Rising. Actually, that's the one I wrote first. Uh, I, I and, and it doesn't matter what order. I just want everyone to know, listen to this incredible conversation with Elizabeth Cunningham. Well, that's the name her parents gave her when she was baptized, but it's not correct. Her name is Mary Magdalene. Her I, name is Maeve. No, Maeve's name is Maeve. Maeve's name not is Maeve. Not based on me. She's just Maeve. And I'm, I'm a sorry. and I write lots of things, yeah. <laughs> when I think of you, Elizabeth, I actually have found myself saying out loud, I want to send an email to Maeve. And then I go, wait a second, no, Elizabeth. <laughs> Maeve has a lot more self-confidence than I do. She's herself. I, she's not modeled on me, I'm modeled on her. <laughs> and so oh. she's the Celtic Mary Magdalene, in case people are wondering. And I do want to say that Although I did 20 years of research, reading and traveling, she is also, you know, born of the imagination. She's a fictional character. It's a very particular depiction of her that not everyone resonates with, but some people really do. But I did do my homework so that everything that happens in the books could have happened. Um, because there isn't an awful lot known about the actual Mary Magdalene. Things are coming through different people in different ways because she was mentioned 14 times in the Gospels. Um, there are some non-canonical Gospels that have the name Mary in them. But just, this is fun. This is like, get out your bungee jumping of disbelief and come for a ride. And, um, you know, understand the power of story, story, fiction. If, you, if that's not for you, then, you know, read something else. Yeah. Oh, it is for the listeners of praying at the speed of love. If ever there were characters, yeah. creatures who prayed at the speed of love, who understood the power of love, it was Mary Magdalene. Oh, it was Mary Magdalene, a.k.a. Maeve. And I'll tell you one of her prayers that I quote sometimes. Um, she, was in a, she gets in a lot of trouble. Is that any surprise to us? So it, I won't be quoting verbatim, but in her third book, Bright Dark Madonna, she's in big trouble. And she says, help, 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 help is one of my favorite prayers. You just have to be prepared for some bizarre responses. And I think when I pray, I often say, okay, don't, whatever's coming, make sure I don't miss it. Because it could be surprising. I think prayer often surprises. The prayer that comes through you and the prayer that comes to you is often a surprise. It takes you out of the box. It gets you out of your ordinary thought patterns. And so that's one thing that I think Maeve does very well. Well, well Maeve, Maeve did it on, in spades the night yeah. of our interview. And I want the viewers to know that because I flubbed recording this the first time. Maeve, Elizabeth, and I had to redo this on July 22nd, the feast day of Mary Magdalene. I mean, I just feel like she's going, <laughs> did you notice? Yeah. Did you notice? Yeah. But what you just said, Elizabeth, about prayer is a surprise. Mm -hmm. It's not what the patriarchal religions have stuck in this little box and say these words and say them in order. It's you opening your heart and allowing the divine to move. Right. Well, I, I have a friend who prays, surprise me, God. That's one of her prayers. Yeah. Well, okay. God, Maeve, Jesus, or they surprised me the night after our conversation. And I yeah. want the listeners, please listen to this conversation because Elizabeth and I didn't plan it. We didn't plan where it was going. It surprised both of us. And we ended up having a conversation about the pain in the world right now with all of the refugees, not just in the United States, but everywhere all around the world. world. But we are so, I as an American, am so appalled by the concentration camps at the border. Well, the conversation meow, ended up there. Now, 
given that we're talking about the story of Mary Magdalene and Jesus of Nazareth, who understood forgiving your enemies greater than anybody on earth, the night after our recorded conversation, I was awakened and yelled at, prayer artist, prayer artist, go do something. And I am blaming this on you, Elizabeth and Maeve and Jesus, and I am doing it. I am obeying. I am surprised. I make it. Yes. <laughs> I am creating a prayer practice to free the children in the concentration camps. This is a And the adults very, too. It would be good to free them as well. A lot of people. A lot of people. This is a very powerful conversation, everyone. And they are all children. We are all children. They are all our children. Mm -hmm. Their mothers are all our mothers. Their fathers are all our fathers. The father and daughter that died in the river, they are your brother, your niece, your granddaughter. And Maeve and Jesus wouldn't have it any other way. So please, Come and listen to this extraordinary conversation. Mary Magdalene and Jesus were alive and present in Elizabeth Cunningham's beautiful novel and voice. And Maeve herself is going to come to the Facebook group. So enjoy the conversation. Maeve have, may not be able to, uh, yeah, tell me more about the time because she's very, very, very booked that day, but she wants to come on the 25th, right? Well, that's when the show is available. Yeah. But oh, with the prayer practice, yes. She'll but, be there. She the, will be there. The, it's going to take me a while. To, I'm, I'm aiming for August 8th. Okay. Put mm -hmm. They are all our children out there. But this conversation is available on Thursday, July 25th. Yeah. And if after you listen, come to JanetConnor.com and click on the prayer bag. You get a Mave song or two. You get the prologue. Thank you, Monkfish, for the passion of Mary Magdalene. You get to read this for free. Get started. I guarantee you'll be reading all four of them. There, there goes a month, I'm telling you. <laughs> and then join the Facebook group, because Maeve will be happy to talk to you in the Facebook group. Thank you. I love you. Much love to everybody. That's your phone. <laughs> <laughs>